Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit T-Rex 2 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on the watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on the watch, your watch needs to be paired with a phone via the Zap application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we can open the Zap application on the phone that is paired with our watch. After you open the application, you should see the home page. Now tap on the profile icon, then select your Amazfit T-Rex 2 from the list of devices. And here you should see the option called notifications and reminders. Tap on it. And right here we have different types of notifications. First, we have the incoming call. Uh, basically, uh, if you enable this option, you will receive the notifications about calls incoming on your phone. You can tap on it and right here, and you can see once you open the incoming call menu, you may see the uh, yellow messages right, right here at, at the top. This means that you have uh, or you don't have the required permissions enabled uh, for this function to work. So we need to tap on this yellow message. It will bring up the uh, required permission. We need to tap on allow to allow it. And once you allow the required permission or permissions, you won't see the message messages anymore. And you can tap on the switch right here to enable the incoming call alerts. And as you can see, after we enable the incoming calls, we got more uh, errors. We need to tap on here, allow the permission, tap on here, allow the permission, tap on here, and allow the permission. And once more, tap on go to settings. And it should redirect you to the do not disturb, disturb access. And once you're here, you need to scroll down, uh, tap on zap up, tap on the switch, tap on allow, and then you can press the back button to go back to the app. And once you're done with the permissions, you should not see the uh, yellow messages anymore. And once you're done, you can enable or disable the incoming call alerts. You can also customize it and you can um, enable or disable the option to show the contact information. You can enable or disable the auto SMS repl reply option. And if you enable it, you can tap on manage SMS replies and you can set up the replies here we have some default ones. You can tap on edit um, to edit them. Basically, you can tap on add button to add new ones like this. We can go back. Next, we have the uh, delay alerts option. If you enable it, basically what it does, uh, let's say somebody is calling you on your phone and you have the de delay enabled like here for 30 seconds. Uh, the alert on your watch will arrive 30 seconds after you will get the call on your phone. So if you want to use this option, you can enable it, tap on here and set the delay to whatever you want. Okay, so that's about the call alerts. Let's go back. Now let's tap on the app alerts. And this is notifications for the applications on your phone, basically. And as you can see, we have more yellow messages. We need to tap on it, tap on OK allow the notification access for the Zap application. So basically tap on the Zap application right here, tap on the switch, tap on allow, and once you're done, go back to the application. And once you are uh, done with the um, permissions, you can enable the app notifications by tapping on the switch. And once you enable them, you should see the list of applications on your phone right here. And basically you can enable and disable the notifications for each app on your phone. You can customize it for which app it's enabled and from for which app is disabled. For example, I'm gonna enable it for Discord and maybe Chrome and stuff like that. Some random stuff. Okay, so once you're done customizing the uh, which app you want to receive the notifications from on your watch, you can also enable or disable the option to and notify you only when the mobile phone screen, screen turns off. If you enable this option and the screen is uh, 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 turned on on your phone, the notifications won't arrive on your watch. So if you disable this option, 
they will arrive on your watch if the screen is turned on on your phone but if you en uh, enable it they won't and also you have the fast reply you can tap on it and manage the fast replies right here okay so uh, once you're done customizing the app notifications you can go back and next type of, uh, next type of the notifications we have is incoming sms we can tap on it and here we can enable the uh, notifications for the sms messages so if you tap on the switch you should get the uh, notifications about the sms's basically and that's about it once you're done customizing the notifications you should be able to receive them so i'm gonna write myself a message on discord And as you can see, we have the message on our phone and also on our watch. And we can uh, read it here, we can delete it. Also, if you miss the notifications on your watch, you can also swipe right on the home screen to open the notifications menu. Okay, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.